hey guys so i decided to do this video which was long overdue so first i want to apologize to you guys who've been asking me about the results of cryo surgery that i had on my cheek now um i have gotten messages even though that video was posted three years ago i get messages to this day about the video and people asking me if cryo surgery works what was my journey like sorry the light put the shade down oh my gosh oh my gosh okay <laughs> so what was my journey like and i decided to do a video to address it and again apologies if i didn't do this sooner say la vie life, life catches up with you okay and plus it was something that was difficult for me to talk about let me give you a little backstory i wasn't born with a spot on my face i had gotten that dark spot after i had my son not my daughter my son and i believe i was about 28 29 when it appeared he was already born and one day it just appeared um, some doctors say it could have been the sun. Some doctors say it could have been hormonal. I did have it checked to see if it was cancerous and it was not, which I was very happy about. Um, and I had spent tons and tons of money on beauty products. Um, I am a makeup artist of 20 years. I freelanced for lots of different companies, including skincare companies. And I tell you, I think I tried every spot treatment in the market, everything that people were raving about and just nothing worked for that spot. I even went the natural route and put lemon on it, coconut oil. I, seven years I had that spot, seven years okay um sometimes people would comment and people who know me my whole life who knew i never had that especially like my nephews they used to be like did somebody hit you in the face that was their thing every summer because they would forget and in the summertime it used to get really really dark even if i put sunblock even if i wore a sun hat it doesn't matter it just would get super dark um, for me to cover it up with makeup, I used to have to put tons and tons of full coverage makeup on top of the spot, which I didn't like to do all the time. I love makeup, but I don't want to wear makeup all the time. You know, I want to go natural sometimes. Um, so I had decided to go with cryo surgery because it was at a point where I was just so sick of it. And I felt like I was, I am aging. And then the spot was aging me even more. So I went to a dermatologist, had the cryo surgery done. As you see in my video before, it's, it gets really dark and crusty. I'm gonna show you some pictures of what it looked like before I got it done. And I'm gonna show you what it looked like after I got it done. And I'm gonna be honest with you, though I got it done, I felt like it was still there. I felt like I was, I still had the spot. I was even telling my husband like, Listen, I'm just going to have to deal with the spot forever until um, I started trying this product called 180. It's a face wash. And really, I didn't have high hopes because I had tried everything to get rid of the spot. So I would say six months after I had the cryo surgery, I still had the spot. It would still get darker with the sun. I was hiding from the sun so that it wouldn't get any darker. Um, but I tried this product and it, it didn't work right away. I'm going to be honest with you. hundred percent didn't work right away, but with consistent use, I used it for over a year and I saw it get lighter and lighter and lighter. And I saw that it was breaking up the spot, breaking it up like with consistent use. So I kept using it. I had went through what three bottles of it already and the bottles last a long time so now we're talking about that video was three years ago then it was six months after i got it that i started using that product and i've used it ever since and the spot has never came back and i want to show you up close this is no foundation there's no foundation on my face this is just moisturizer and sometimes i feel like i see a little twinge of it but i see nothing there look moving my face up and down side to side so you want to know if cryosurgery works i'm going to be honest with you i didn't notice a big difference especially those six months after i started using that product six months after and i swear that if cryosurgery works 
that product I use after sped up the results. Um, what's in the product, the product is a vitamin C based it does not have any water in it. It activates with water. Um, it, it's very good for sensitive skin, so it didn't dry me out or anything. Um, and it kept my skin looking amazing. Look, I got no foundation. This is no foundation. This is none. No foundation. I mean, look, I got some capillaries. I'm going to show you what it looked like before, what it looked like when I got it done, what it looked like after, and what, what it looked like after I started using the 180. Listen, I'm still happy I got the cryosurgery done. I can't give you an honest to God opinion if it works by itself because I still used an amazing skincare product for spot treatment that assisted. So maybe that together is what got rid of it. Um, if you're interested in the product, please reach out to me. I'll post the link to the product below anyway, uh, just so you could check it out. But however, I'm happy I got it done because it's what thrusted forward me not having the spot. I hope that helps somebody. I mean, I figured give it a risk. I mean, if it stays, it stays. It's already there as long as it doesn't get worse, right? And it didn't get worse. Things got better. So I'm happy that I got it done. And I hope that helps somebody out there. And remember, I had a small spot. The dermatologist did say that once you have a spot like that, there is a chance that you could get it back. There's a chance that it can another spot can pop up um, on your face. Uh, so that's why I continue to use the 180 just as also a preventative measure. Of course, I use sunblock. When I'm outside, I wear sun hats. Um, I use body tanning just to avoid the sun because this is not my first time um having a spot when i was younger in my early teens i had to get laser on my chest because of a sun tag it was like a sun tag and uh, it used to drive me nuts so my mother had it removed with laser back then and i was like maybe 12 13 years old and i was so insecure about it especially when i wore bathing suits so it's not my first dance with the sun. Um, but yeah, always wear sunblock. Um, if you have hyperpigmentation, wear a sun hat. Invest in cute sun hats so you can feel good about wearing them. Have a sporty one, have a cute one, have a fancy one, have a beach one. <laughs> so that you're more encouraged to wear them. So let's get the show rolling uh, and let me show you the pictures. So this is what the spot looked like before cryosurgery um it would darken like i said because of the sun um and this is what it would look like with makeup on it which i felt like you can still see the darkness and it really bothered me because i didn't have this i wasn't born with this this is the day i had it done it got a lot darker and it got worse before it got better it just got darker and darker uh and it also had a texture this is what it looked like with makeup on top and i hated that it had that texture to it this is without makeup and you can still see it it started looking how it used to look again um and of course with the sun it just would get darker and um i didn't want to wear makeup all the time so this is when i started using the 180 i started noticing the edges of the spot disappearing i would let um the the face wash sit on the spot for three to five minutes not only wash my face with it twice a day and i started noticing breaking up and disappearing and with and without makeup i saw a huge huge difference and this is without makeup completely it was in the winter time super happy that the spot was disappearing again no foundation in this picture um and then it was completely gone and uh yeah that's pretty much it i've been using 180 for years since then not only as a preventative measure but it does make the skin look amazing so i don't want my sunspot to be confused with my beauty mark i do have a beauty mark on my face that's still there Again, I really hope this helps someone and I'm sorry that I didn't do this much sooner. But um, if you feel like you're considering cryosurgery, if you have a spot that is just really getting on your nerves, it's costing you tons of money because you tried everything, I say go for it. And 
sorry i say go for it and if you feel like you want to try the 180 in assistance with it you know talk to your dermatologist the link is in um the comments below but it's a heaven sent whenever somebody reaches out to me about dark spot i recommend that and they love it as well and um it, it, it's just awesome you can do your own research on this product i talked i'll talk to you guys soon um god bless and be good to each other always bye